We're live. Hello. How are we? I'm back again for another late night stream. We're going to be playing some Magic the Gathering. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll bring up my deck list. This is, uh, this is what we're working with. Um, let's, uh, how do we switch? Ah, right here, this is what we're looking for. Here's the deck list. The new champion deck list. I've been playing a lot off stream. Uh, as you will see. Uh, I'm up to gold. I think we're in gold right now. But it's a pretty s straightforward uh, deck list. I like the other way better. Um, so ev basically every creature in the deck is going to have de uh, death touch. So you have Falmire Knight. Um, he's one of those adventure cards. He lets you draw a card, lose a life for three. Or he's a 1-1 one -one death touch for one. Knight of the Ebon Legion doesn't normally have Death Touch, but when you use his ability for 3 mana, he'll get plus 3, plus 3, um, and gain Death Touch. Thieves Guild Enforcer, this one I just added. Uh, again, she doesn't start with Death Touch, but when she enters the battlefield, the opponent's going to mill 2 cards, uh, or any other rogue, but I don't think I have any rogues in this deck besides her. Um, so then as an opponent has 8 or more cards in their graveyard, she gets plus two, plus one, and death touch. Vampire of Dire Moon, one of the better cards. Um, she's a one, one death touch and life link for one mana. Uh, Shadow Spear, I like is uh, gets rid of. It's like a pet card of mine. I think it's one of the best cards in standard. Uh, for one mana, uh, equip creatures get plus one, plus one, trample and life link, and f uh, you could equip it for two mana. One mana, um, permanent your opponent's control, lose hexproof and indestructible. And you don't even have to have it equipped to use that. So it's a good way to uh, kill those gods. Uh, agonizing Remorse, we have some hand sculpting. So um, this is the, I would say, the best uh, card to pull cards out of the opponent's hand um, for two mana. You get to hit creatures and lands as opposed to like uh, duress for one mana you have to choose a non-creature non-land card so um, with agonizing remorse you get to hit, hit spells or creatures uh, you have eliminate the new m21 kill spell uh, it's been fantastic so far um, I normally don't run four copies of any card in my deck but um, here I'm using four copies of Eliminate, uh, Destroy Target Creature, or Planeswalker with Converted Mana Cost, three or less. So it hits Teferi, it hits Narset, and it hits most creatures you want to get rid of. Uh, I have Timurit, he's like one of the only creatures here that doesn't have Death Touch, uh, but he's great. Um, main deck, uh, Graveyard Hate against like Uro or Krosha or that uh, Cauldron Cat. Uh, we have called the Death Dweller, which can actually uh, return someone from the graveyard to the battlefield and give them Death Touch. So that's a way to get Timurit Death Touch. But I'm looking to fit uh, an extra copy of this in here. I just don't know what to get rid of yet. I have one copy of Demonic Embrace. Um, I It's been pretty cool so far. I, I think it's a, a cool card. So for three mana, it's an enchant creature. The creature gets plus three, plus one, and flying. Um, it becomes a demon, that, but that doesn't really matter too much. And then if it goes to the graveyard, I can pay three life and discard a card uh, to play this from the graveyard. It's been a good way to get give someone flying and get some uh, damage through. Then we have uh, Drill Bit, another card that um, can sculpt the opponent's hand. You know, um, it has a spectacle cost, which uh, I'll explain in a second um, so spectacle you may cast a spell for its spectacle cost rather than its mana cost if an opponent lost life this turn so um, you do combat damage or any type of uh, 
way that the opponent loses life and instead of three mana you could pay one and they have to discard a non-land card of your choice uh, grim dancer is one of the our bigger creatures in the deck he's a three three and when he comes into the battlefield you could choose two um tokens or counters to put on not tokens counters so you got from among them you get uh, menace death touch and lifelink typically i go lifelink and death touch here's the uh best card in the deck is the hooded blight fang so he's a, a one four with death touch Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch attacks, each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. And whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals damage to a Planeswalker, destroy that Planeswalker. So he's, uh, he knocks a lot of life off just on the attack, so the, our creatures don't even really need to hit. Uh, here's another one of uh, our creatures that don't have Death Touch, but he's, uh, I added him, and he's a great addition because uh this deck could also run as like a lifelink tribal deck so veto thorn of the dusk rose for three mana is a one three whenever you gain life target opponent loses that much life so uh you could see the synergy with hooded blight fang or um shadow spear or vampire of dire moon where we're gaining a lot of life grim dancer so i i threw in two copies um I, I sometimes I, I almost wish I had more, but um, I don't like having too many copies of legendary creatures. Um, although the next card you'll see is Liliana, Waker of the Dead. She could use cards uh, that I, I can discard. So her plus one uh, makes us discard as well as the opponent. Um, her minus three has is is been a good kill spell, and I never really got to the ultimate yet. But she's uh, been a pretty solid planeswalker for me so far. Especially when we don't have a hand. Um, then she could, you know, when the opponent doesn't have a hand, she's dealing damage. Uh, Vraska swarms eminence. So whenever a creature, her static ability, is whenever a creature you control with death touch deals damage to a player or planeswalker, put a 1-1 counter on that creature. And... Um, she doesn't have a plus ability, so you can only really use the minus two twice, and uh, then she dies. So you get to create a 1-1 black assassin creature, and it has death touch. Whenever this creature deals damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. Uh, here's Cavalier of Night. He's just a one-of copy. Uh, I've, I've liked him so far. I think he's a cool-looking card, but uh, he has a lot of uh, function. So for 5 mana, which is kind of a lot, but uh, he's a 4-5 lifelink. And then when he enters the battlefield, I can sacrifice a creature. When I do, I get to destroy target creature and opponent controls. And then when he dies, I can return target creature with conver converted mana cost 3 or less. So that pretty much hits every creature in my deck. Uh, I could return. Um, and he's like a kill spell. I have uh, Masker Worm because he's uh, it's pretty cool. He's the uh, the highest mana cost. I keep bouncing back and forth where I don't know if I should keep him in or take him out. But it's like every time I take him out, I, I want him. And then when I put him back in, he's like useless. But um, when he enters the battlefield, creatures my opponent's control get minus two, minus two until end of turn. And then whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, that player loses two life. So he could be like a huge board wipe uh, and deal a lot of damage against like token decks or mono red. Um, but I haven't really gotten him to connect yet. Uh, as for the sideboard, I really just kind of threw together a bunch of other cards that could fit or I have tested... Um, Eternal Taskmaster is a little uh, recursion. I haven't really used them in the deck yet. Uh, we have two more kill spells. Uh, M21 gives us Grasp of Darkness or uh, Double Disfigure, which is pretty cool so far. Uh, I haven't really used it just because Eliminate is uh, much better in my opinion. Uh, we also have Heartless Act, which is from Ikoria. Which is pretty solid. Um, you could remove three counters from a, a, a creature. Um, if it was a planeswalker, that would uh, I'd probably use it. But destroy target creature with no counters on it is pretty solid. It's just, it's it's in the sideboard. I, I don't really use it. 
I have the Malefix scythe, which I think is pretty cool. It comes in with a, a soul counter, and every time the creature equipped dies, it gets another soul counter. And the creature equipped gets plus one, plus one for each soul counter. So it's another way to buff creatures like um, the Demonic Embrace or whatever it was called, and um, the Shadow Spear. Ayara, I would like to add her to the deck. Um, she would help with some life gain. Uh, she would, well, gain and drain. Every time a black creature enters a battlefield, um, she could also sacrifice creatures to draw cards. But I only have one copy. I, I feel like it's not really that useful. Uh, here's Davriel, the rogue shadow mage. I always, you've seen him in previous decks. He helps uh, get some cards out of the opponent's hand. I would like to, I, I just can't justify a spot for him. Uh, there's the fourth copy of Grim Dancer, then Liliana and Haunt of High Tower, which are just like ways to close out games. But um, I think their CMC is just a little too high to justify going in the main deck. Um, as you can see, I'm running 62 cards just because I, I really didn't know what else to pull. Uh, I get so. I, I never want to take cards out. I just want to play more and more cards. But we have. Um, I guess 21 lands so it's a little light for 62 cards so maybe um, I don't know we'll see how it works out let's get in the game uh, so I've been grinding a lot and uh, we've been playing uh, standard ranked I've been using different decks earlier I was playing Simic Flash just to get some challenges get some uh, some coins and stuff but let's uh, get death touch rolling Welcome if you're joining us on Twitch. Uh, we just explained uh, the deck list. Mono Black Death Touch. It's like an aggressive deck. I think it's pretty pretty solid. Um, it, I, it keeps up with a lot of the aggressive decks, and it. Um, I, I feel like it, it. If someone's playing control, it kind of beats them over the head with a brick. So this is a pretty solid hand. It got three lands. And I can cast the entire, uh, the entire hand. So right off the bat, we'll just throw this, and we'll try the um, Thieves Guild Enforcer. Now we got a blocker. He had to mill two cards. See now he doesn't want to swing. I probably should have pulled the cavalcade out there. That's my fault. That's, yep, that's gonna bite me in the ass, but I'll get the other one. Oh, I didn't know that's a double strike, huh? Oof. Torbrin always just scares me. Oh, and there's a third copy. All right, so we're not looking too great in this game. Mono red, man. So even if I would have grabbed the second one, you know, what's really going on there? That's a that's a lot. Uh, she doesn't hit eight yet. Oh, we're at five. Okay. Well, I think we swing here just to get some life. And then we'll uh, give him the drill bit. Yeah, we'll pull the planeswalker out of the hand and we'll go timber it. Now uh, we're going to have to start exiling some of these creatures to gain some life.
See, he's digging. Uh, I, I would like some kind of draw outlet in this, because now we're just in top deck mode, which isn't really that great. But yeah, we'll start... Uh, Gaining life against a mono red deck is just like invaluable, you know. All right, so we gained three life off of that. We got nothing else to do, so we might as well. Um, I'm think we just keep gaining a little bit of life here. Normally, this deck doesn't stall out so bad. Uh, yeah, I kind of back myself into a wall. This uh, Cavalcade, I, I always forget about this card where now this combos with this. Kind of lose my Timurit here, but I can't let him do six damage to my face. Yep, uh, we're going to concede here. He's got it. Not off to a great start. But see, we're at gold tier 3. So it's going to be a little bit better competition than what we've seen in the past. I don't think I've been up to gold since uh, I first started streaming. And that was during the pandemic. During the COVID where I was home all day. This um, Between this deck and my Simic Flash deck, I've really been able to... Uh, just win more. Now this hand isn't great at all. We have one land. Even though we can cast three. It's going to be risky, but why not? Let's keep it. And we're against Mono Red again. See, Vampire of the Dire Moon uh, is good to go down early because it'll stop people. He, he's got all first strike, but that's, again, sucks because I'm not even going to get the life gain. But on the attack, maybe I could, uh, I'll gain some life back, but we'll use Eliminate here get rid of one of these guys this deck is so linear and so like done to death I I hate it I would like some of these cards to just rotate out. So we're able to use two kill spells early, getting rid of the fervent champions who they just need to rotate out big time. But the, the cavalcade is, is killing me, which is just something that black can't deal with is enchantments. So it's unfortunate that in two games we've seen all uh, five copies, six copies of cavalcade. Uh, we're not really hitting uh, the land that I would like. See, he can make him unblockable, and he has first strike, so really, I, I feel like the only move is to attack with the vampire to gain some kind of life. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, it seems like uh, the way the meta is concerned in um, Arena right now is like people play this red deck just to grind to platinum very fast. Is it just wins fast? They play all one one drop creatures. What I would like to do is um, edit the deck a little bit. I think I'm going to take out um, the mask. See, the mask of worm would be great, but he's cost six mana. I think I need to put in. You know what? We'll just put in a land. And go up to 63 cards. I feel like 22 lands is where you want to be at, but hopefully we'll uh, play something that doesn't want to win on turn three. I promise this is a fun deck. So at least we got three lands here. Um, I think what I, I try to do is play the Falmire Knight and, and as the not as the one one, but as um, the draw spell first to get a little value. Looks like he's gonna have a kind of a black green death touch. That's what I'm feeling. I toyed around with that in uh, the deck building. Let's get some information. Yeah, so he's got uh, Death Touch all over the place. I think we we take his kill spell. Here, um, I don't think we're in that bad of a spot, so let's just draw a card, maybe get some card advantage going. Get a little shuffle effect. Fabled Passage. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is we'll Erebos Intervention, the Pestilent Spirit. And we'll play our Falmire Knight. So this is going to be like a death touch war. I, I, it's going to come down to the, the hooded blight fang. Whoever gets it out first is my assumption. Uh, see, Timurit's not going to be good here because he just... Uh, he, does, he doesn't have death touch. So he's, I mean, he'll kill these 1-1s, one but it's, is it even worth doing? So we'll play Vraska, see what happens. We'll make a 1-1 one -one with her. I need the Golgari now. Step aside. If you see an assassin coming for you, that's a bad assassin. I would like to get some more information out of uh, out of that hand. Oh, good hit! And don't let it go to your head. So let's go, thieves guild. We'll mill two. 
kind of disrupt the flow a little bit. He's using a kill spell on a 1-1. One, one. But we're going to pull... Oh, well, I can't attack now. All right. That's, uh, that's not too big of a deal. I think we play Timurit and just get rid of Vraska. Oh, maybe we'll win the 1-1 uh, one, one war. Yeah, so that happened. That's okay. I think we're in a pretty decent spot here. As long as they don't get another kill spell, which would be unfortunate. We can't really block the menace. So hopefully we get some kind of lifelink. So he, he kind of needs to either kill the knight. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So we got it. Well, no. We'll be doing 11 damage, unfortunately. And, of course, we're stuck on a land. One damage. Of course, this is where I stream... And I'm going to lose three in a row. And I have not done that since I put the deck together. But welcome. Welcome to me losing. This is a mono black death touch deck. Quietly slipping out of gold tier 3, which I was so proud about. I don't know if it's me, but maybe you guys could tell me in the chat if you guys play. Um, I feel like the matchmaking system has been crazy. Like, I only go against, like, decks that are similar to mine. Like, it, the, so far we've went against... Mono red aggro, mono red aggro, and green black aggro. So, uh, I don't really get it. Again, Masker Worm just feels bad. I, I don't know if I should keep it. But, whatever. The Fable Passage, again, like, I, I don't know if it's uh, worth it for the shuffle effects because it's not like I get to even see the shuffle. So we'll get some information here. Looks like he's got a Azorius, some kind of flying bullshit. Anyone know the secrets of this deck? What should I look out for? Really, we're like one mana away from getting Liliana down or... Frasca. So I think our only real option here is we'll just pull another card out of the hand. even know which one's better I guess I'll pull this one out the other one makes the tokens but I don't know
And now we're stuck again. Yep. Have you guys played any uh, Mono Black Death Touch? I, I saw a list and I kind of started brewing. I, I really liked the list until I started streaming today. Alright, so... At least now we can get rid of this... Sky Cat Sovereign. He's probably got a counter spell at this point, right? Yep. I think that it's the needle in the 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 nail in the coffin, right? Not the needle in the haystack. And no luck there. I might have to switch decks because this is uh, bothering me. But we'll see. Maybe we could get a win off a of gold tier 4. Or we could just go for the record, uh, Guinness World Record of losing. Any suggestions uh, on what I should put into the deck? Should Maybe I should add some more kill spells, get rid of some of that hand sculpting. I, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? I think here, rather than wait to draw the card, we just slam down 1-1, uh, one, one, maybe stop some of the attack. And we'll get some information here. Oh yeah, this is terrible. But at least I think we'll get rid of both of these Terror of the Peaks at least. And probably one of the Hydras. He, it looks like he doesn't. He doesn't have much green mana. But again, it's like uh, I don't know what's going on with the uh, randomization. It's like. I'm either getting land fucked or land flooded. So if he goes to fight here, he's gonna lose his Hydra, so I, I didn't really see why that was a, a good call. But I was hoping to uh, drill bit there on this turn. We did get rid of two of the Terror of the Peaks, which... Um, here, I think we... Hold back to Drill Bit. Instead of trying to draw that card. Alright, so now we know he's just got lands in his hand. And he draws another Hydra. We are not getting lucky today, man. So we'll hold back the Hydra, t uh, the Knight to uh, block. So, I don't think we have any real shot at protecting because he's got trample, so he'll deal with three damage.
now he's got a flyer. We are getting crushed. Eliminate doesn't hit here. That is game. Alright, let's go to the deck edit. I'm going to mess with this a little bit. I don't know why the, uh, the land situation seems off. I was playing last night off stream. And everything was pretty smooth. So, let's get rid of Mask of Worm, Cavalier. We'll go down to 61 cards with... Uh, 22 lands, I believe. Now, I think we need some more kill spells, maybe. Maybe we'll get, um, get rid of the demonic embrace. Uh, Shadow Spear probably should stay. Yeah, uh, whatever. We'll get rid of that and maybe the veto. And we'll just uh, load up on some kill spells. So what do you guys think of this awesome mono black death touch? Is it everything you dreamed losing four games in a row? I, you have no idea how frustrated I am. <laughs> I was like so excited. We got up to gold. Like getting the information I don't know if it's a good call yeah see it was all right so we get rid of this pride mate if I had a kill spell I would have left it and worked on something else but He's got that Conclave. Um, hopefully, we can... Uh, tr uh, Conclave Tribunal. Hopefully, we can get some damage through and uh, give him that drill bit before he can lay it down. Uh, I guess we could just do it now. We don't have to... Sp do the spectacle cost. And we'll hold back. This next turn, we could remove this uh, Steadfast Queen with Liliana off of the Fabled Passage. will give us three cards in the graveyard. And we'll take a shot at uh, Elspeth. He can block, but we're, we'll gain some life. I'm okay with that, I guess. A, a triple block. I'll be even more powerful next time. He's running low on uh, cards in hand, which is good. If you are going to fight, fight beside me.
Hopefully he can't get rid of the Hooded Blight Fang, but I feel like he's going to have a whole bunch of these Banishing Lights and the, was it, the Conclave, Tribunal. Uh, they're very inefficient removal spells, but these Mono White little 1-1 uh, one -one decks love them. I will do my best to support you. I don't really get what the trick is. Uh, I, I just block one. He's going to give it indestructible or protection from black or whatever. Get rid of use some of this mana if we're just going to be drawing lands. Definitely get rid of Elspeth. Because now we're both in top deck mode. I cannot escape my failures. Also, this is a, what, game four, game five, this is the first Hooded Blight Fang we've seen. Maybe I should up that to four. I, I don't know if I have the fourth copy yet. Uh, I'm still unlocking cards. All right, well, there's a win. Back to tier three. Let's see if we got that fourth copy of the Blight Fang. Still don't have it. Still trying to unlock some cards. Uh, any suggestions? Any su I have a second call of the Death Dweller. Normally I run my decks at 61 cards, so we'll just add that. Even though some of the cards I took out, I really liked uh, the Demonic Embrace. It really helped uh, sometimes late game having a Cavalier at night swinging for 7-6 lifelink in the air. Really closes out a game. <coughs> What's up to my friends on Twitch? How's everyone doing? Anyone open any packs of Jumpstart? I think uh, before the week is over. Oh, this is going to be like a mirror match. See, this is where the Fabled Passages feel bad. But I kind of like them in this deck because it loads up the graveyard. Except I'm just a turn slower right now, which is kind of sucks. But Liliana's minus three. It, it loads up the graveyard. So now he gets a nice hit. Might not be a mirror match, but he's definitely going to have a lot of removal and a lot of low-costed creatures. So, unfortunately, uh, Grass of Darkness and Eliminate, they are instants, but I'm going to have to use it on my turn before he untaps. So, let's just uh, get rid of this. Yeah, we're playing a lot of the same cards here. I think let's uh, we'll get some information.
Oh, he's got these... These trolls. He can't cast them. He needs, uh... That's not really good, though. They miss the eliminate. So it has haste. That's frustrating. So here, I'm not gonna block. I'll take the two damage. We we gotta work on killing that uh, Flak Ridge troll. So what we'll do is we'll uh, Erebos. Oh, he's a four right now. All right, I will just eliminate him. We'll play a Timurid of our own. And we'll go no attacks. We'll wait. Um, he has trample. We'll take a big hit, but we'll get rid of it. It's... This is a weird deck. I, I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've seen this type of deck yet. So we're kind of behind the gun here. Hopefully uh, that last card isn't removal. Mercy of Rankle right now. Let's see what he does. Oh, he picked nothing. Alright. So, we're just going to load this up. Gain some life. Now we just need some, some threats. Ah, well... This, this is where I want my murderous riders in this deck. They don't really fit the theme, but it it would be uh, nice to have. They're great kill spells. And they don't go away. That's... Uh Always the positive. I think I go maybe lifelink menace here so he can't block. Because we need to, uh, we need to gain life. Two turn clock. We need a uh, a grass with darkness. Nope. Not helping. Oh, he's a five five now. Awesome. That was very unlucky. Stretch of lands. I think uh, back to the drawing board with this deck. I think we need. Um, I think we need a way to draw some cards. 
And I have just the spell. It's a very good one. Village Rites has been uh, is a very good draw spell. I think we get rid of the Death Dweller. And you know what? Uh, eliminate really hasn't been too effective. And since we added three copies of Grasp of Darkness, we'll get another copy of Village Rites. Because some of these 1-1s, one they could turn into two cards. So let's, uh, we've been really struggling in top deck mode. We've also seen one Hooded Blightfang in six games. Which is kind of the point of the deck. We're getting crushed by these Fabled Passages. But again, that minus three, um, it, it helps build it up. So I don't know what the right move is with that. Any suggestions on me trying to force this deck to work? Because um, the decks are just going to get harder and harder as we progress. All the Bant Control, Ugin decks, uh, Simic Flash, Simic Ramp, Mono Green Ramp. See, we've just been playing against uh, aggro decks all day. I don't, I don't understand uh, if it's a matchmaking thing, but this looks like it's going to be Bant Control of some sort. Um, let's attack first and then we'll see what goes on here. Alright, because now we can drill bit. We'll get some information. He has enough to cast the Bane Slayer and the Ooze. This is kind of a weird deck. I don't really know what's going on with that but I, I'm gonna have a tough time removing the Bane Slayer so let's uh, make him discard that the Grasp of Darkness will at least uh, well it's gonna have to hit this guy now uh, the Eliminate still works But see, last game we had nine lands out. This game we only have three. It's the tale as old as time with Magic of the Gathering. Let's, uh... Gonna hold back for a blocker. What I want to do is uh, block and sacrifice this uh, vampire. Maybe we could draw into a fourth land. But I don't know if it's just worth... Yeah, I think it's just worth killing this thing.
got our blight fang down. That's not good. The, the last time I saw this card, once he gets the hexproof counter, it's like game over. Um, I think we throw down the vampire, Falmire Knight, and then we're going to sacrifice the knight. There's finally our fourth land. Can't attack with the Blight Fang because he'll just get swallowed up. But we have a kill spell ready for that Crystalline Giant. He just can't get that Hexproof counter. He already got the 1-1, one, one, so he's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, he got the Death Touch counter, which is all right. And now you can quote me now. I guarantee this is like going to be a flood of lands. So we have five mana. Let's uh, let's just get rid of this guy right now. He's in top deck mode. Uh, I think next turn we can play Liliana or Vraska and kind of improve our board state. Yeah, we'll go with Liliana and we'll we'll uh kill these this I guy. And, and we could also play the, the knight. Me. And we'll swing with the vampire. We we kind of gain into life. It's just like a, a very incremental deck. Well, it shouldn't be, actually. It should be very aggressive and should win pretty fast, but I think I'm having problems in the draw category and too much land versus not enough land. I th think I just uh, let her die. Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll risk the Blight Fang. Maybe. Yeah, alright. I, I thought maybe he had like a pump spell. Alright, so we, we're kind of throwing our whole hand out. But hopefully we get some 1-1 one -one counters on these guys. He's got one blocker. Yep. That was the plan. Thieves Guild Enforcer is also Death Touch. And now the counters Death Touch. Or the token, rather. So we can kind of pick and choose our attack at this point. He's got the flyer. Which now next turn, I don't know if I should put down another 1-1 one, one token and let her die or just... I think I keep her around to see how many 1-1 one, one counters I can get. Alright, this is exactly what we needed. Uh, 
four four and a four six. Got a block somewhere. Yeah, I'll take that trade any day. Win number two. I feel like I played that pretty well. Fairly well, maybe. I don't know. It's getting late, man. Getting tired. We'll try again, though. We'll see if we could get on a roll. I'm probably only going to do a couple more matches, though. Unless uh, you guys want to see anything in particular, we could switch it over to Simic Flash or Simic Ramp. I just kept this hand out of habit, like muscle memory. I didn't even think to look at it, but we have a lot of interaction here, so I think we're in a decent spot. beast is going to come down so I got to save and eliminate for him so let's just we'll pull something out of the hand we'll get some information what else he might have he's got no more lands which is good take this kill spell for now it's like a pseudo kill spell Oh, I didn't even think. Uh, this has hexproof from black, so hopefully. I gotta get rid of that out of his hand, or I'm not gonna be able to deal with it all game. Yep, motherfucker. Well, I guess it's hexproof from black, not uh, protection, so. Can't be kill spelled, but death touch would hit it. Uh huh. Now we have no lands, so we'll, we'll sit here and try to make a two land hand work. I did that backwards. See, I, I'm getting tired. Sorry, folks. I, I needed that eliminate for the beast, not the grasp of darkness. Ah, uh, the heart of the cards, Yugi. This thing is killing me. But that was two misplays on my part. Um, if you want to learn from my mistakes, if you're playing a mono black deck, take this out with the agonizing remorse and make sure you know what your kill spells do. 
All right. So here he's at four lands. We'll just kill another thing. I think at at this point I might just sacrifice the knight. I don't know. I do not know. I don't know if you guys joined me last night. We were doing we did a a raid Shadow Legends stream. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, if you guys had any questions about how to play that or deck building, I've been a Magic the Gathering player for over 20 years. I just recently got into Arena. So what is that, seven? Yeah, we'll block. Yeah, I don't have any creatures in there. Not looking good for your boy. Uh, what do I really do here? I think we just concede, right? Scoop at instant speed. I'm going to do one more after we hit the uh, edit button. Let's uh, see if there's anything that we can do here. The village rights really doesn't seem too good. Uh, I mean, we have 19 creatures. There's plenty to sacrifice. What are we missing, chat? I know I'm missing a copy of the the Knight of Ebon Legion, some Thieves Guild Enforcers, the fourth copy of Hooded Blightfang. So I've tried to make do. You know what I really need is green for some ramp to get ahead of some of these decks, but uh, I don't think we really have that option. We could do run like inefficient ramp like uh, Nyx Lotus, but that's on turn four where most of these games are already away from us. All right, we'll just do one more and then I think I'm going to call it. Just wanted to uh, get a stream out there while I'm off of work. I'm probably going to do um, at least one more magic stream by next Monday. I want to... Uh, use all those draft tokens that I got and I'm a notoriously bad drafter so we can uh, have fun with that feels like this deck uh, like when you have the blight fangs it can work and when you don't it's it's it doesn't I want to throw the Fabled Passage down on first turn because it's almost like a wash, you know. Uh, here we go. Mono red. Fucking speed deck. I think we're ahead of him, though, so he can play some of these cards. We'll get a Blight Fang down.
first strike doesn't matter here. I think uh, I kill this little guy. Oh. Well. He was dead anyway, so let's sacrifice him. You deal no damage, sir. Yeah, definitely gonna... Oh, well, I guess he gets my top card. Ah, that sucks. So that rob, robber's definitely gotta get blocked first. So I got four... So, I think I... Should I just wipe the field? Well, I'll, I'll get rid of one. Then we'll drill bit. We'll pull something out of his hand. Another robber. Or annex. I guess uh, the robber. He's more annoying. We kind of slowed the the beat down. He's only got two cards left in hand, so I think we'll go to draw a card here. And yeah, we'll uh, agonizing remorse. We'll pull this, get him into top deck mode because we can kill that annex with the grass with darkness. So now we can kind of pick off these creatures as they attack. So now... I kind of want to gain more life off of this, but I think it's more useful getting rid of this. And then getting rid of the runaway steamkin. I wish Hooded Blightfang just drew a card. It's like they lose a life, you draw a card. That would be amazing. Kind of like the Slither Wisp. I wanted to get Demir Flash going, but it it's. It's nowhere near as good as uh, Simic Flash. So we're losing two a turn and we're dealing two a turn, gaining one a turn. We need one more threat. Before he gets some kind of bullshit removal like that soul seer. Ah, uh, he drew two lands off that? Okay. It's kind of a brick.
So now he'll have to mill two here. He's got over eight in the graveyard, so she's actually a three two death touch. Oh yeah, we got rid of an ember cleave. That is nice. Ah oh, man. Stupid soul seer. Now we're down two hooded blight fangs. I think the odds shifted in this one. Um, I'm gonna keep her because she's gonna she can get rid of the grim initiate. Shouldn't have to work this hard against the shitty mono red deck wins. Oh, yeah. So that's frustrating. All right. And now we got hand sculpt when hand sculpt really. Yeah, we're struggling. Could go for that Massacre Worm now. See what I'm saying? But I feel like uh, this guy played this deck terribly. Right. Let's gain some life here. Give us an extra turn or two. I'll try to do some damage. Of course it's this boner. I hate this guy. Yep, I think that's uh, pretty much it for us, guys. Can deal five. Uh, wait. We'll just hold them back. Creatures in there. No, man. I guess I go to my own, right? Try to s save my life here. This is always the drawback of having cards that deal with pulling cards out of hand. It's like you eventually get to the point where. Um, they don't have a hand. <laughs> They're useless. Yep. So we took a a beating from Mono Red today. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna come back later in the week. We'll maybe we'll do some draft. I'll uh, fix this deck up, which was completely trash today, and I'm very upset because I was excited about it, and uh, I was doing so well, it got me up to gold, and now we're crushed. So my name's Hugh Murray. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, at The Logic. Uh, you can follow Couch Quest Podcast, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter, we are Sequest Podcast. Uh, anyway, 
GG's.